Hello everyone and welcome to Spiritual Guidance Academy. My name is Empress Queen Tay and Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the opportunity to come to you guys with a 12 Oracle and Tarot card reading. Okay, this is just one of the many sessions, okay? I'm not going to waste my time too much on introductions, okay? But I will say this, you guys, in tarot, you know the energy is fluid. Take what is for you, leave what is not, okay? These messages that I'm doing are timeless. They're meant to reach you whenever they're meant to reach you, okay? And I also do want to say, you guys, please hit that subscribe button over here at Spiritual Guidance Academy. Also, check my channel out, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle, okay? So with that being said, boo, let's get into it, okay? I'm being led to start these readings off with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck to see what is being activated, what light better is coming through for the collective that I'm reading for, okay? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective? Allow me to tap into their energies, Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. Divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming out for the collective that I'm resonating with? What do they need to know? Archangels, ancestors, thank you. And we have downloads and understandings. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realms. Okay, a lot of signs and synchronicities have been coming your way. Okay, a lot of unveiling. Okay, a lot of love coming your way. Okay, a lot of clarity I'm seeing as well. Clarity in the heart space I'm feeling as well. Okay, a lot of downloads and understandings. It's like things are clicking for you right now is what I'm feeling with the collective that I'm reading for right now. Okay. And let's go in with the soul's journey deck and we're going to see what soul lesson is coming out or you need to pay attention to right now. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to connect to their energies. What is coming out for the collective? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit, we're coming out for the collective. Thank you. And we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And I feel automatically that, you know, I feel a try again energy that's coming. I feel like there is a lot of understanding, a lot of crown chakra going on here as well. Crown chakra, third eye chakra, movement going on here. Okay, a divine uh, spiritual movement. I feel that's going on here too. For some of you guys, you're looking failure straight in the eye and you're not letting that word um, take domain in your heart or take domain in your mind for as a negative way. You're, you're knowing like, hey, I didn't feel like that. This is just some way for me to rework this. This came in because of that type of understanding that I'm getting off of this right here. I'm not getting so much as the collective being in a failure mind state, but I'm getting more so that you're not looking at a failure as a failure, but an opportunity, okay? Especially with all these downloads and this understanding that's coming in, this truth that's being revealed to you. Um, Spirit is giving me on an everyday basis, okay? So we're going to go in. Spirit is wanting me to go in with an affirmation. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What affirmation do you have 
for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. What affirmation do you have for them? Angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit is coming through for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date. Thank you. And we have, I let go of all expectations. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. Okay. And I feel like that's that acceptance of something not being a failure right there. Turning it into an opportunity. Okay. Knowing that something is going to wait you on the other side of this right here. Okay. Being in the flow of that positive energy is what I feel is coming through for the collective. Okay. Letting go, letting go of a mistake, letting go of something and looking at it as an opportunity to learn and receiving clarity on that as well is what I'm getting off of that. So I'm going to go in with the angels and ancestors oracle deck and I'm going to see what's coming out for the collective. Okay, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, what's coming out? What's coming out for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit is coming out for the collective. Okay, let's cut. And let's see what is coming out. Archangels, ancestors. Okay. It's all in the deck, y'all. Hold on, let me get it right. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, thank you. Okay, great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. Okay, this is the energy that you're in right now. Okay, which is a beautiful energy. For some of you, you are spiritual teachers. You are spiritual leaders. Okay, and I feel like you're letting something go. You're letting something be free. You're letting something just flow. Okay, you're letting go of expectations and you're letting the divine Holy Spirit source the universe, however you resonate with the creator of all, okay, you're letting them take that away. And it is a release, I feel, for the collective. In this reading right here, the energy I'm getting is release, okay? And the things that you have learned, I feel like you're applying that is what I'm getting as well. Okay, divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding this collective, what is coming through? What is grounding the collective? Keeping the peace but maintaining. I, I feel like you're, you're in a dual action energy right here. You have peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. And you have warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Okay, in what's grounding you. And it's a dual action energy here because of this downloads and these understandings. You're letting go of expectations. You're moving in a free in a free-flowing, loving way, truly, with this peacekeeper energy. But you are going to war, you know. I feel like you are still in that warrior because you're fearless about your dreams. You're fearless about what it is that you're standing strong about, whatever it may be. May it be a relationship, your health goals, your um, your family, your kids, this new job, this new experience, okay, okay. I'm feeling a lot of new, okay, and accomplishing things. I feel like, you know, I feel like a going after your goal energy right here. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like I'm moving in silence too, okay? Okay, what is the goal? Okay, we have Shield Maiden, make plans and focus, Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information, okay? And, and that healing information, I'm getting a lot of heart chakra energy off of here, off of this right here with this um medicine guardian. Okay. Archangel guardian over your heart right now. Okay, just be open to this healing information. And you have shield mating, make plans and focus. Okay. And she has a plan. She's going into war. She has a sword and she has her shield. 
Okay, she's already tatted up with her tribal. Okay, she's made plans for this. She's set intentions for this. She's focused on this. Okay, she's dressed the part. Okay, as well. Okay, and be accepted to healing information. Okay, is the goal here. Divine Holy Spirit, what is holding on? What, what energy do? Okay, shed old skin. This is the energy that you need to let go of. Okay. This is the energy that you need to move away from around. Okay. And I feel like this is old ways of thinking. Old ways of being. Okay. Shedding that old way of thinking. That old skin. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. Where should the collective direct their energy? Thank you. Ego, see from a higher perspective. Okay, this is where your energy should be focusing on rising above, looking at a situation from a very um expansive space area, way high up in the sky above. Okay, with this peacekeeper energy, I'm feeling okay in a peaceful way, just observing. Okay, in a warrior still being fearless. Okay. I love that dove and that eagle spirit coming out, being present here in this reading too. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the advice for the collective that I'm reading for? What is the advice? Okay. And we have High Priestess. Harness mystic power. Okay. High Priestess energy incoming in. That intuitive energy. That divinely protective energy. Knowing um, that you're protected. Knowing how to get tapped into the universe, knowing how to tap into the synchronicities, pay attention to everything and use that for your good. Okay. And then we also have night, be brave and honest. Okay. Two fighter spirits coming out. Okay. Warrior and night. And then we have another sword of truth here. Okay. So we have two swords on the board and we also have, you know, really three warrior spirits with the shield maiden. Okay. But you really have the knight and the warrior here, okay? Both fighters. She'll made in a fighter as well, okay? So this is all about fighting for your change, fighting, you know, to go to to walk in that energy of letting go, to walk in that energy of, you know, allowing these downloads and these informations that you're getting, this information that you're getting to to help you to move forward, to shed something. To see something from a higher perspective. A lot of you guys are highly intuitive. Highly tapped in. Very spiritual yourself. Okay. So we're going to go in with a three card spread here. Using the tarot. Okay. Past, present, future energy. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with. Either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Okay, let's cut. And we're going to see what's coming out. Okay, already there is someone, okay, not a source energy. Someone is trying to get back in touch with you frantically. I don't know if you've blocked this person out. For a lot of you, I'm feeling a blocked out energy. For others of you, you've been ignoring this person. Now this person is coming back or this person has been blowing your phone up or blowing you up, okay, for some of you. And others of you, I feel like this is the energy of you might need to slow down, okay, that peacekeeper energy. Let go of the need to be right. Right. Okay, you might be trying to force your opinion or your way of living or your way of seeing something, okay, because you're standing strong in it, but you're needing to do balance that energy out. Spirit is giving me, okay, divine Holy Spirit off the top, okay, no shuffle, okay. What is the past energy for the collective? What is the past energy for the collective? Thank you, and we have Ace of Swords. Okay, it's a sword, it's a sword coming out for the third time. Clarity, truth, understanding. Okay. And I also get recognizing of a worth. What is the present energy? 
for the collective with the present energy for the collective that I'm connecting with divine Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have <laughs> the will of fortune and the emperor standing your ground, being very focused with that warrior energy, okay? Being very focused on this new turn of events, this new chapter, this new cycle, this new beginning, okay? Letting go of expectations. I love myself and I know that only good awaits me at every turn. And that's what I get off of this emperor energy. But I'm also getting a little bit of stiffness and sternness. I'm also feeling like right now for the collective, you're needing to relax a little bit. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what's the future energy for the collective? King of Pentacles. Okay, stability, being stable within yourself. Okay, I also feel like there's a stable connection that's coming through for some of you guys. What's the advice? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and I feel like this Seven of Pentacles is speaking of just investing Keep investing, keep flowering, keep watering whatever it is that you're watering, okay? But let go of the ex expectations of something, okay? Learn from your spiritual experiences and the guidance and the clarity that you've received on something, especially about a situation that is old, okay? Especially about a situation that's old that, that you may have let go of a person, you know, very ego driven, okay, very stuck in their ways type of person, person that didn't want to change. You might have invested a lot in with that person, okay, Divine Holy Spirit is saying, you know, something has came in, something has turned, okay, you're now more so focused on just achieving what it is that you want and being very grounded, okay, but I'm also getting the sense that the collective that is resonating with this, even though you're doing a lot of nurturing and investing in something and waiting in something, okay, it is going to come in, but Spirit is giving me, watch the way you go about getting everything, okay, Especially with this shit and the old skin and this um, peacekeeper um, let go of the need to be right here. Okay, but I do see something coming in for you guys where you're going to be comfortable. But you're going to need to loosen up and have fun and not watch this seven of pentacles. Because um, a watch pot never balls. Okay, you sit there and watch that water to try to ball. You might be standing there feel like for 45 minutes. Okay. So, it's the need to have fun as you're investing here is what I'm getting off of this, okay? And I'm going to get a little clarity. Let's get a little bit on this advice. Divine Holy Spirit, give me a little bit more on this seven. Thank you. Yeah. For some of you, it's a connection, okay? You're waiting on a connection to grow with someone, okay? You're waiting for a new tide to come in with someone. Divine Holy Spirit, give me some more energy around this seven of pentacles. Okay, yeah, you have the eight of pentacles now. You've invested in a connection or you want to invest in a connection or a connection is coming in for you to invest in. I'm going to get one more card. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, give me some more energy around this advice. Okay, yeah, uh, four of cups. Okay, so this could be a person of your past. Okay, that you invested a lot in. Okay, that you may have moved on from. Okay, this person, we did see the Knight of Swords in the back of the deck. Okay, this is the person, yeah, maybe a person that put you in a third-party situation. Okay, that's trying to come back in and offer you another connection, but you're focused on your pinnacles at this time. You're focused on your career or whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, I, I hear, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I just heard that. Okay, some of you could have been saying that to yourself right now or something like that. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Everything is not going to be known right now. Divine Holy Spirit is giving me, you just have to trust and believe, trust in your spiritual experiences, which you've grown from. Okay, and be open to this information, whatever this healing information is, however it comes. Okay. So let's get, I want to get a little bit of clarity on this Wheel of Fortune and this Emperor before I start to close out. The Bible is straight. Give me some information on this Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. Thank you, Strength. The Bible is straight. Give me some information on this Wheel of Fortune for Pentacles. I'm going to get one more. The Bible is straight. Give me one more card. Thank you, Moon card. Yeah, it's a lot of mysterious 
in this going on right here, okay, but you're receiving information, okay? Truth is being revealed. You have the Ace of Swords here in the past energy, okay? It is just about you holding on to your strength and your focus, no matter what it is that you don't quite understand yet about this path. But there is something you have started within yourself that Divine Holy Spirit is saying you just need to hold on to that energy right now at this stage that you're on in your path is what I'm getting, okay? A lot of you are trying to start or have invested a lot in a situation or a connection with a person. Okay. Um, earth energy here. I'm feeling a lot of. Okay. I'm feeling Gemini air energy here as well. A lot of air energy because there's a lot of swords, a lot of mental thinking, a lot of mental vigor of standing ground. A lot of a lot of clarity I'm receiving and feeling as well. A lot of working hard and investing. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys have just stood strong through a lot. Okay. And still is standing strong through a lot, even though some things are unclear. But you're just letting go of expectations. And I think this is why that moon card is here. Okay. And this card is saying deep insights are coming. Okay. That's why the moon card is here. Some things is it's not going to be revealed. They're coming. Everything you, every little download you get and you understand more and more is being put together for you. So you can see things from a higher perspective is what I'm getting. Okay. So we're going to go in and close with an angel offer message. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God. And we have trust, intuition on the cut. Trust, intuition on the cut. Okay, and I feel like with that moon card, that's what it's all about. Okay. So let's see what's coming out for the collective. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective that I may be connecting with either now or at a later date? Thank you. And we have positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Okay, and I feel like this is what their will of fortune is all about. That's why you have such this masculine energy here. Okay, I get feminine energy as well because I feel that shield maiden is here. Okay, I feel this peacekeeper energy here, feminine energy here. Okay, I do feel, you know, I feel like a balance is coming in. As you shed something and you understand something, you grow and you learn from this experience with this person or this situation. For some of you that you sold a lot of into, you're not sure about where it's going. Okay, you're trying to plant a, a, a seed with a relationship with someone here at this time for some of you. Okay, you want to know where this is going to go because you're putting a lot of work into this commitment. For some of you, it doesn't have anything to do with a relationship. It has everything to do with your goals and things that you're trying to accomplish for yourself. Okay, so with that being said, you guys, I want to thank Miss Nicole and Spiritual Goddess Academy again for this opportunity. Okay, I love you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here and head over to Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle and check out my channel, please. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.